looking a little bit like uh, a scene from a wildlife documentary. This is the scene of the kill, the carcass, the leftovers, uh, the detritus after a Sunday lunch. So this is all that is left. Uh, and this sorry looking wreck is going to provide us with all we need for a lovely immune boosting recipe. So we're packed full of nutrients here. We've got uh, chitin, we've got keratin, we've got all the constituents of the bones, so high in calcium, phosphorus, vitamin D, um, a little bit of glucosamine sulfate, everything you want to support your immune system, to support joint health, and just basically keep you healthy, wealthy and wise throughout the week when you're uh, still feasting off the, the remnants of our, our lovely little chicken. So we've had this bubbling away for a few hours. It's the carcass from the chicken we roasted earlier today. All the good nutrients resolved into the stock there. And I've added some uh, lemongrass, some gangalai, some uh, normal ginger and some, some ch fresh chilies. All those herbs are nice and fresh. So that's been bubbling away. We're going to strain the mixture and then add in some tom yum soup paste, coconut milk and then a load of prawns for the protein sauce. So we're getting the stock back on the boil and then we're just getting the tom yum soup paste into the mix. If you haven't managed to get hold of any fresh herbs, you can just use the paste, but it's always good to have a few fresh herbs in there as well. Just add a little bit of fresh lemongrass last minute, and a little bit of chilli as well, just as a sort of little garnish, but you can you can, uh, you can chomp, chomp down on those bits as well. So it's all good for you. Chop those in there, and then a few king prawns. I'm going to just cook those prawns off until they go pink. It's looking good. I'm going to have some of that for my tea. So when, when the prawns are cooked, you can just serve. If you want to, you can garnish it with some extra fresh herbs like coriander and flat leaf parsley.